Hi, I'm Gary. I'm 51 years of age and I'm putting this brief video introduction together in order to sort of enhance my profile in order to get some work in a new and exciting industry. So I've been in the learning and development industry for about 30 odd years, most of my career. But to give you a brief synopsis of my life so it really rounds up an opinion of me, I'll start right at the beginning. After sort of a violent and challenging childhood, uh, I had become a teenager who was a bit unruly, uh, like lots of young people that I know. I was causing a little bit of trouble in the neighbourhood and then I was blessed to meet my wife of 30 years now and uh, she put me on the right path and in doing so, I fell into the role of a training officer in the British military. After a couple of years serving as a frontline operative, my CO of the time, who is now a Major, Major Dave Thatcher, said to me, you've got two good qualities. Number one, you can talk, as you're about to find out, and number two, you can fight. So therefore, I want to tune into your creative brain and I want you to become a training officer. And I did that for a number of years. In fact, I would design and deploy training solutions around UDT, defensive tactics, use of force training for police officers, and everything around hostage taking, dynamic entry, counter-terrorism. My role was sort of split into two categories. I also had a covert operative role where I worked for many, many years as a covert operative uh, working alongside the CPS, the Crown Prosecution Service. So to give you an idea, this is where all my acting experience comes from. I would have to infiltrate a character uh, and then sort of embed myself within a group of individuals for a period of weeks, sometimes months, in order to get the relevant evidence in order for those people to be prosecuted. And uh, that was my real time acting experience taking on a different personality, building up a story, a backstory for myself, and then sort of living that in quite volatile and potentially dangerous situations. But anyway, that was like yesteryear. That's where my acting come from. Since the age of dot, I've been doing sort of the martial arts and self-defense, and uh, it sort of tuned me in the early 2000s to doing some programs. I wrote a program for women's uh, personal safety, worked with a group called Women's Aid, who's uh, experienced and support women in domestic violence. Uh, I did that about 20 odd years ago, that's been effective to about 20,000 women. Uh, 2007, I wrote a program for bullying and I also set up a charity around that time to tackle bullying, domestic violence, knife crime, because they are my areas of expertise. Uh, so I do a lot of community work as a result of it and I've had thousands of people go through some of my programs. In recent years, I've been doing more stuff with knife crime. Uh, one of my specialities in my old life with the military is, uh, is knife crime, as a knife-related sort of defensive, def defensive tactics. So it's my speciality there. Uh, and I've just got to an age, about 50 years of age, where I went, do you know what? I could do with a little bit of a change. Uh, I've been doing this a long, long time, beating on the same drums. And uh, it'd be nice to do something a little bit different. So. I trained my brain back about 15 years when I was doing one-to-one -one sessions and I was training a young man called Lee Morrison. And Lee Morrison was on the stump register at the time and uh, went on to become a, a, a very big and popular stunt performer in the James Bond franchise. In fact, at the time I was doing fight choreography with him for Casino Royale uh, and various other movies with uh, a guy called Buster Edwards who was another uh, stuntman of the time. And that really sort of led me into things such as fight choreography, which I've been doing for quite a few years, in demonstrations, public events, public speaking, which is what I do a lot, hence the reason you can see me talking. Uh, and so I've got quite an eclectic experience, and I've lived quite a lot of a life in my 51 years. But again, I got to my 50th and thought, life's got to be a bit different, and I've spent probably the last 18 months just thinking how that could be different. And therefore, I'm now doing this. I'm putting this little intro out there for somebody to uh, hopefully pick up and maybe do a little bit of extra work, give me a little bit of variety. The spice of life. I don't think it's a midlife crisis yet, but uh, got to do it, isn't it? If you if, if you want to try and put yourself out there. So that's where I'm at. My acting experience has come from real life. I'm not rather trained or anything of that nature. Uh, my choreography experience has just come from me fighting for the last 40, 44 years uh, from when I was a kid uh, and I'm pretty damn good at it uh, and I used to write for all the industry magazines and all that sort of stuff. I've done 
a hell of a lot of public speaking, uh, not only here but a lot in Vegas, uh, Las Vegas I used to do all the police and military training shows and speaking the MGM Grand in front of thousands of people and do a lot of stuff on camera. So I'm quite comfortable in my own skin, uh, I'm a very confident sort of person, but I'm just looking for something a bit different and, uh, and I thought this might be a good opportunity to put my synopsis onto a video and see if there was anyone who was interested in taking this book and seeing if you could, uh, you could benefit from my services and if I can benefit from the experience. Hope that works. Hopefully you'll get in contact with me. I think with my profile, it's got all my contact details. If not, uh, well, I'm pretty knackered, but we'll go from there. Thank you.